Chapter 5, Applying, Formatting, and Inserting Objects. Some of the things in Chapter 5 I covered in the Chapter 4 video, so this one should be short and sweet. Uh, the first thing I want to cover is columns. Once in a while, I want to take a page and split it into columns. To do that, I go to the Page Layout tab, and I go to the columns, and I can choose, typically you do two columns, but um, you could do three or four. Well, the first thing I notice is my title automatically went on the top of the first column. When really, I would like my column because I think, or my title to be centered over both columns, I think it would look better. So I'm going to undo it, and I want to talk about that. In order for that to happen, we need to insert a continuous section break. So in the page layout tab, we have breaks, and we have um, different kind of breaks. Column break, you can get to later if you want to, just like with the page break, automatically make something go to the top of the next column. But under section breaks, we're just going to do a continuous section break. You really don't see anything's happened there. But if I go to my home tab and my show hide button, I can see it says section break continuous. I'm going to turn that off and I'm going to go back to page layout. And now I'm going to choose to have a two, two columns. Notice my title is nice and centered over both columns. Sometimes in columns, they ask for you to have a line between a vertical line. Under more columns, I would choose to do that by right here. And if it tells you to have specific spacing, um, you would adjust that right here. So now I have two columns with um, a line between. The next thing I want to talk about is some of the formatting things, more the desktop publishing things that can be done right inside of Word. Uh, the first is going to be a drop cap. Drop cap is something you see a lot of times in magazine articles. Um, under drop cap, I can choose dropped, and it makes that letter, the first letter of the first word, quite a bit larger. Um, I can go to options, and that might, in a, if this wasn't broken into columns, going down three lines would probably be fine. But this is broke into two columns, I'm going to make it a little bit smaller so it doesn't stand out as much. Um, so that's what a drop cap is. Insert symbols. You're going to see in this chapter it's going to have you insert some symbols. I'm just going to put one right before the C in computer here. These are the ones that you find most of the time. However, we do have more symbols. And there's uh, so many symbols with every different font chosen here, you'll find a different symbol. So some of them are just the letters, some of them are actual symbols like the registered trademark or the copy. Um, we're just going to choose, I don't even know, let's find something kind of fun. We're just going to put a dot. And I chose insert, and even though I don't see it, it's there. So I'm going to close out. I'm going to choose to do it again. Notice the most common ones show up here in the saved. So I that's how you insert symbols. In the Chapter 4 video, I already went over um, some of the things with inserting clip art and shapes all in here. So you can play with those some more in this chapter. Something I did um, briefly talk about, but I don't think I showed you, for instance, if I do a blank page, and on this page I want to make it kind of my title page, and I'm just going to say, welcome, oh shoot, I'm just going to do a new page. I'm going to say, welcome to MTI, I did give it in. Now, I'm going to center it. Now, if I want this centered, I'm going to make it larger, grow, 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 grow. I want it not that large. I want it centered in the middle of this page. I can play the game and press enter, 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 go to print preview, see how it looks. But if I want it exactly centered in the page, the easiest way to do that is in the page layout tab. Remember under page setup, we have vertical alignments at the top. If I change it to center, it's going to move it to the center of the page. Just exactly in the center of the page. Those are the few things that I wanted to cover in Chapter 5. Um, some of the things that you did in Chapter 4 are repeated in the assignments for 5. So just to expand on, Chapter 4 and Chapter 5 are kind of fun. Like I said, some more desktop publishing type um, chapters. If you have any questions, let me go. Or, sorry, let me know. Otherwise, just enjoy um, playing around with what you're learning in Word. Have a good day.